Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll demonstrate how to actively exploit CV2023368444. Now the CV refers to a newly discovered remote code execution vulnerability in the JWeb component of Juniper OS, which is being weaponized by adversaries as we speak. The exploit available actually chains together three separate vulnerabilities to execute arbitrary code on compromised Juniper EX switches and SRX firewalls. A proof of concept exploit is publicly available. Although Juniper Networks initially claimed there were no attacks in the wild, subsequent analysis revealed that there are actually well over 10,000. You can see here 14,000 compromised instances, uh, which are primarily located in South Korea. You guys can use this dork uh, to find more targets. Now, first, I'm gonna show you what the JWeb interface looks like and make sure you don't have any of these laying around in your uh, external perimeter. Now, before we can move on to exploitation, we need to add webauth underscore operation.php question mark PHP RC equals, and that is where we will add our payload to trigger the exploit. Now, the exploit in question is a modified version of the original, which is available at Watchtower Labs, and those guys deserve all the credit. Now, this Python script essentially uploads a malicious PHP file in a corresponding INI file. The script accepts a target URL and an optional PHP payload as command line arguments. If no payload is specified, it then defaults to executing PHP info. The uploaded PHP and INI files are base64 encoded and then sent by a post request. The INI file is configured to auto prepend the uh, PHP file, which then triggers the payload and prints the execution results. Now, after we execute the script, uh, we can go ahead and copy this INI payload and then paste it directly into the vulnerable URL. And we'll do that right now. So let's copy, uh, move on to the login page, paste it, and then we can execute, uh, we can trigger the exploit and execute our payload. Now, once we fire off um, the uh, the INI file, we get remote code execution and an unauthenticated access to the PHP info file. Now, finding a firewall's PHP info file exposed in the wild like that is kind of like leaving the blueprint of a bank vault out for thieves. So the file reveals critical details um, about the PHP environment, uh, including server configurations and sometimes even database credentials. So attackers can then leverage uh, this information to exploit known vulnerabilities. Uh, they have the ability to manipulate configurations or even execute uh, targeted attacks. Now, we chose to execute PHP info as the exploit payload, but we could have just as easily used a PHP reverse shell to gain a remote connection to the host. Now, keep in mind that immediate patching and disabling internet access to the JWeb are both recommended for mitigation. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next.